when the blessings come down, then the blessings come down. Our scripture this morning is coming from Luke 16, 19 through 31. It's titled in the Bible, The Rich Man and Lazarus. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. In hell, where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away and Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me, and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in the water and cool my tongue, because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, Remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, a great, a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. He answered, then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my father's house, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced, even if someone rises from the dead. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his holy word. Praise the Lord for the word of God. For the word of God has been read in our hearing. Grace, it is such a great opportunity, you know, the Lord works in mysterious ways. We have the privilege of being in the present this morning of the new executive secretary, the incoming executive secretary for the Lot Carey Convention, and so we praise God. Come on, give God praise for Lot Carey. And let me say this to you, this institution of God's grace and mercy has been one of the major institutions. Grace has, and I'm speaking even before me, but you have been one of the institutions, one of the churches who have given so freely and so lovingly and so heartedly to make sure that missions continue to happen in Lot Carey. So we praise God for that. Praise God for your giving all the way back from the early 80s all the way up to now. You are one of the leading churches that's a part of making missions happen at the Lot Carey uh, Institute and Convention. So let's give God praise for that, amen. I have uh, the privilege and the honor to introduce our preacher this morning and I met him a couple of years ago back in the early 2000s when I was serving as the assistant pastor at Ebenezer Baptist Church and he was right four blocks down the street uh, serving as one of the associate pastors and ministers of the Afford Street Baptist Church. Grace, we have with us this morning none other than the pastor, Reverend Dr. Emmett Lafayette Dunn. Pastor Dunn is pastoring, of course, in the Prince George's County, and many of you see his bio here. But I just want you to focus on just a few of the things. He is a native of Monrovia, Liberia. And he came to the United States in 1988 to pursue his education as a World Council of Churches scholar. And that he is a scholar, but he's also saved. 
But while still in Liberia, he was a member of the Providence Baptist Church where he was ordained in 1987 and served as the assistant minister and director of Christian education. Reverend Dunn formerly served as the assistant minister and the special assistant to the pastor of the Alpha Street Baptist Church in Alexandria, Virginia, prior to being elected as the director of the youth department of the Baptist World Alliance in 1994. His ministry with the Baptist World Alliance, the BWA, took him to places all over the world where he provided skilled leadership in the areas of youth leadership development, conflict resolution, mission and evangelism, church health and wellness, emerging leaders, initiatives and, in, and conferences management. For the last 22 years, Dr. Dunn has traveled to more than 100 countries encouraging, equipping, and empowering people of God for the kingdom of God. And then when we drop down and look at his education, of course I want to make sure that I point out that he is a proud graduate of the greatest <laughs> school of divinity, Howard University. There you go, there you go, there you go. Sister Williams is John downstairs. Amen, John Williams is a graduate of Howard too. All the Howard graduates, raise your hand. <laughs> we even got some up top. So Dr. Dunn, you among some community folk here. H-U, you know, amen. But we certainly give God praise for him. He's, he's um, theology degree from the Liberia Baptist Theological Seminary in 1986 and of course graduate cert certificate of work and accomplishment from the Protestant Episcopal Seminary in Virginia, a Master's of Divinity degree from Howard University School of Divinity and those are just to name a few along with honorary doctorate and a conferred doctorate and earned doctorate. Grace, I'm going to ask you that if you would reach your right hand towards this preacher and repeat after me. Preach! Preacher, preach. preach. After our choir comes with a selection, we welcome to this pulpit none other than the Reverend Dr. Emmett Lafayette Dunn, the new executive secretary of Lot Carey. Hear ye him as he preached the word of God. Praise God. Amen.
we thank you for all, all the music you provide along the way. We can never fully pay you, Lord, for all the good you have done. To the chief. Name we praise. 